Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews. Today, I'm going to be talking about this. You see what I did there? Christopher Robin, Disney's new movie about the very famous A.A. A. Milton character, character even. And in this, uh, not dissimilar to Hook, um, Christopher has grown up. He's forgotten about his friends, Pooh Bear, Eeyore and so forth. And without knowing it, he needs their help. And they also need his help, and because of that, symmetry. There's a reference there. Okay, back in a second. Okay, right, Christopher Robin, um, Disney's new live action adaptation. Now, for anyone who isn't a huge fan of Disney like me, let me just let me just explain this. Since about five years ago when Maleficent came out and was a massive hit. They pushed forward with Cinderella, Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, which was a huge financial winner last year. And so, if you're in any way tired of these live action Disney remakes, um, then you're about to get a miserable five or six years following this because they've got about 12 in the works already. So it's gonna be basically never ending. Now, is Christopher Robin a good film? I went into it not expecting like anything huge but i definitely had expectations above the sense of like this is going to be terrible and in the middle of the film in like the guts of the film for me it really worked that period so when christopher robin has um you know in london he's working he's lost that sense of childhood and so forth poo 100 acre fam has lost all his friends so he finds christopher robin in london and then they have to go back to 100 Acre Farms together to find everyone. And he kind of rediscovers his childhood, that in a sense, not dissimilar to Hook does it, uh, Rob Williams does it in Hook. And that part of the film, because it's dark, it's quite menacing, um, and then it's dramatic and it's kind of really light and beautiful, that part really worked for me. Sadly though, on the downside, the surrounding story with the work and that sense of like how we can extend that feeling background to everybody else is incredibly simplistic, possibly even too simplistic for children. And I was a bit pissed off with how Hayley Atwell is used in it and his daughter, it was a little bit of an afterthought, but, but for that, it had some damn good magic in it at moments. Okay, there it is. Thank you for watching as always. And I will be back soon with some more reviews, thanks.